So we have a post from Anthony after news broke in the police report. I reported on it. It was posted on Reddit. Came out a few days later. Anthony admits to picking up a DUI. Not a big deal in Anthony's case. He writes in February 2023, I made the irresponsible of decision of getting in my car to drive home after I had been drinking. I picked up a DUI. I have no one to blame but myself, and I'm going to accept my punishment and honor it. I have a lot to say about this. He is not accepting his punishment and honoring it. He's being forced. So it's kind of like, oh, I got arrested for murdering somebody. I'm going to honor the fact that I I have to go to jail. This is very odd language. It again implies that he's kind of like turned himself in when in fact he's been caught and in fact ran away. According to the police report, he ran away. Jeopardizing his life and the life of two police officers in a chase. My license will be suspended, so I no longer have any use for my cars. Wow, fancy cars, fancy bikes, and no one has a driver's license. So before you guys say, hey, stop picking on him, he flexes his cars and his motorcycles. A 16-year-old has something that he doesn't have, a driver's license. Yeah. What is, <laughs> I'm going to be mean because I feel that that's the only way I can get this point across. What's the point of having all these fancy cars and fancy bikes when you can't even effing drive? Where you're not even responsible enough to do what a 16-year-old can do. What's the point of flexing your Lamborghini, your G-Wagon, your Ferrari when you can't even drive? Ah, We will see what happens. The suspension is going to be a long time. I'm not going to talk about it right now. I'm sure when you... Okay. No point in paying for something I cannot legally drive. My cars and bikes will be put up for sale. And then he has the image of all the the sales. So this is pretty crazy in my opinion. Uh, It is exactly what has to be done to ensure safety. I am very surprised that he is selling all his vehicles, right? You would expect that he had could just have Darby drive them or Z, which often happens. Uh, one thing that I think is kind of a smokescreen is he doesn't list the actual amount of money, the mile, any information that would help a reasonable person determine if you should buy the car, like the year of the car, the amount of miles it has on, if, you know, it's under warranty of some type, nope, none of that. You're just going to buy it or not buy it. Don't waste his time, right? His time is worth $5,000 an hour. It's going to be interesting. It is going to be interesting. This isn't him becoming a better person. This isn't him. It's him being forced to sell the cars. Now, some people will say that it's financial. I think that it might play a part in it, but when you are used to vlogging yourself, driving all the places, I don't know how people say, oh, you were so mean to his employee. I was never mean to his employees. And the reason he's not producing vlogs, it should be pretty obvious to you. He cannot drive. In most of his vlogs, he's driving for a large portion of the vlog. When he went to Arizona for that vlog, he had an Instagram photo of him driving. The idea that he is just going to give up his license and his cars just because he's going to be a better person is insane. 
Th these are the consequences of your actions. Actions have consequences. And people want me to be nice to him. And, you know, <laughs> his life is falling apart. And I will address one comment that I felt was pretty good. You know, why should I kick him down? Because he is down. So why should I continue to kick him when he's down? Because he doesn't think he's down yet. And sometimes you do have to hit rock bottom before you can go up. Even Anthony himself, he, he said some of my videos are good for him, some of the videos are bad for him. My point is very, very simple. Accountability, responsibility, he is still not accepting it. Let me read you this again. And you tell me that this is accountability, okay? In February 2023, today we are in June, I made the irresponsible of decision of getting in my car to drive home after I had been drinking. A lot of people a lot of people here apparently love drinking and driving. You just call an Uber. It's $30 most. It takes you from your favorite place to home safely. You can pick up the car. You can call an Uber in the morning, pick up your car the next day. Is this really like a difficult concept for people to understand? Like Uber, I hate Uber and Lyft. I think they are actually, you know, I can go into great detail, but the one thing that they're very useful for is, again, if you are a male, male, you're probably a little safer than a female, which oh, <laughs> not right now is not the time to get into the criminal history of Uber or Lyft. But yeah, I believe that this could easily be prevented. I picked up a DUI, no biggie. I had no I have no one to blame but myself and I'm going to I am going to accept my punishment and honor it. No, you fool, you're being forced by the government to be punished, to go to jail, to be put on parole for a long time, and if you get caught on parole again, it won't be a plea deal that or no law content the second time around. I promise you that. My license will be suspended. Like, look, it's one thing if he had a drinking problem, he doesn't get caught, and he gives his license, or he's just going to Uber places, he's going to sell his car. That's one thing, okay? He got caught, he got punished, his license is suspended. If his license was not suspended, he would still be driving, easy as that there is no honor there is no i mean he's saying honor there this is only punishment all right let me kind of just wrap this up in uh <laughs> a night nice little bow tie i will continue to make videos about anthony when he has things i can make videos about okay he is selling Mm, 800,000, 700,000, some amount of money in cars. I find that extremely interesting given how often he flexes the car. The Ferrari is a relatively new car in his vehicle. The multiple Ducatis, some of them not pictured for whatever reason, even though he really loves taking pictures of them together. This is interesting because it is the absolute flex culture I so, so very much hate coming to a end. Jail is not fun. Getting sued for a million plus dollars by Bob Watts is not fun. Legal problems, having to send that Watts back, not fun. There are a lot of potentially, I mean, like I said, typically if a business has one or two of these issues a year, it would be considered like, okay, cool. We deal, no, we're dealing with like one or two, we're dealing with one or two issues a week. And it is self-inflicted. It is, and then people will ask, what do I want to see from him? I want to see him. Before he gets caught, I would like to see him. Hey, I have a problem. I'm going to, before I hurt somebody, I'm going to go with the Alcoholic Anonymous. 
I'm going to go to support group. I'm going to get the professional help I need. I know I have a problem. A lot of people in the comments, you guys are enablers. And you guys might think that you're his biggest fan and he might be enjoying it and he might be feedback, but you're destroying his life. So in fact, I am trying to save his life and you are destroying his life. You just don't understand why. When somebody has a problem and he does have a problem, this is not DUI1, guys. When you have a problem, you need an intervention. You need somebody to sit you down and say, hey, dude, you got a problem. We are sending you to a facility. Throw away the key until you get better. A lot of times, you know, parents have to discipline their children. And the children hate being disciplined. But they have to be. Because that will teach them in the future not to do something bad. If you enable the child to get away with crimes, then what is the eventual outcome and what is the lesson that they will learn? Well, the lesson they will learn is I can get away with it. A lot of you are enablers. You just don't understand it. But I understand it. I understand it. It's an addiction. Anyway. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.